In this problem, we have a light wave that's traveling in a vacuum with a wavelength of 782 nanometers. And this index of refraction in a vacuum is 1, 1 flat, and index of refraction in this glass that we pass into is 1.49. Now we want to find the wavelength and the frequency in both cases. Well, actually just in the glass, because we, we know the wavelength already for the vacuum. So we know that C equals F lambda. Now our speed of light will change depending on the index of refraction, what medium we're in, and our wavelength will change in either case. But our frequency will, will remain the same. Okay? We know that N, index of refraction, is equal to C divided by the velocity of the light in whatever medium you're in. So we can say N for glass is equal to C in glass. C, C is the speed of light, the constant, and V is in the V in the glass. So we can find out what the velocity in the glass is given our index of refraction. So C equals left F lambda is for the vacuum because C is our constant of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Okay. So we can figure out what our frequency is out here. Our frequency is the same in both cases. And then figure out what our velocity is in here. And then we'll be given our lambda. So let's find the frequency first. So frequency equals C over lambda 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by a wavelength of 782 nanometers. So it's 782 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. So we can say our frequency is equal to, if we divide that in, we get a frequency of 3.836, and we'll put that to three significant digits, 3.84 times 10 to the minus 14 hertz. So that is our frequency. Now we want to figure out our wavelength, so we could say V equals F lambda, right, because we're in glass now, so the, the velocity of light has changed. So we can say V glass, lambda glass, frequency is the same. So we can say, we'll solve for VG here and put in C over NG, so we have C over NG. F lambda g. Solve for our wavelength in glass. The glass is equal to C over ng times F. Plug these values in. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by our index of refraction of 1.49. And a frequency of 3.84. times 10 to the minus 14 hertz, which gives us a final wavelength in the glass of 525 nanometers. And that is your final answer.